I had it down to a science. Sounds lovely. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Hitman is a 2023 American back comedy by the wonderful director Richard Linklater. Now, if you don't know Linklater's work, you probably haven't seen Days and Confused, Before Sunset, Before Midnight, Before Sunrise. Or maybe you have, but you just don't remember it. Because Linklater is a director who kind of just blends in. And that's not an insult about his work. That is more the sense of his style of work. He's not flashy. He doesn't want the attention. And additionally, he kind of just pops in every now and again, makes a film and disappears. Now you may know Linklater for his most successful film, School of Rock with Jack Black. And this film is definitely more of that kind of tone. It's a very unique film about a hitman who isn't really a hitman. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna say anymore, I don't wanna spoil it for you. But he's basically a hitman who's not a hitman. Again, Powell is on the rise. He is gonna be a superstar. After his breakout performance in the recent Top Gun film, he's really on a trajectory towards the top. Even turning down a recent role in the new Jurassic Park films. Now I have to say, this film, for the first hour, didn't really gather my attention. I found myself looking at my phone more than I was watching the film, which is a cardinal sin, I understand. It shouldn't be done. But it didn't really grab my attention. I'm a huge fan of Linklater's work. I specifically love his trilogy of Sunset, Moonlight and Sunrise. And I love the dialogue in that film and the fact that it just, it just happens. The film just happens. This is a more structured film and things are happening for the purpose of moving along the plot, which I found problematic for the first hour. And then about an hour in, there's a wonderfully deep conversation about the gravitational pull between the moon and the earth, and reminded me so much of Linklater's best work. I was hoping the film would continue in that vein, and it didn't, but the film did pick up from that point. And in the end, the film is actually kind of enjoyable. Now, the film is loosely based on a real life story, which I'm telling you right now is very loosely based on a real life story. But at the end of the film, the film does go to great lengths to kind of tell you that it's also not a true life story, particularly. And one of the things I don't like about Linklater's work, but I also love conversely, is like I said, he's not a showy director. So his composition of shots his idea behind the basics of filmmaking are very very rudimental so by that way of distinction if you're looking for a film with beautiful cinematography is flashy loud boisterous you're not going to get it here there's some really solid performances especially from glenn powell who is on the rise however the lead character in the film is meant to be a bit of a geek and glenn powell does not look like a geek but that part of the film i was not on board at all he didn't really sell that at all but when he changes into a more transformative character with a bit more gravitas, that's when the film really picks itself up. Now, would I go to the cinema to watch this film? Not a chance in hell. It's definitely a streaming service film, and in situations like this, streaming services do come in handy, because not all films nowadays are meant for the cinema. And this film is not a cinema film. As enjoyable as it is, it's not a cinema film. I'm gonna go ahead and give this film, for a second half especially, a seven out of 10. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do, please hit the like button. And I do have a Patreon. So if you do wanna help this channel grow, please do one of the three things. You can also join the channel as a member. That would be much appreciated. This is definitely not Linklater's best work, but it's certainly up there as one of the best films of the year so far. Which unfortunately is not saying much. Big love until we speak again and speak to you soon.